Hello YouTube friends. This is a pottery video all about um, my visits to Newcastle College Pottery. So I make the pots on the wheel. This is a clay called Buff and it's a stoneware clay and I've been going to pottery once a week for a year or so now, a bit longer maybe, and I like to throw. People, Some people like to hand build or make tiles or do different things, but I like to, I'm learning how to throw uh, nice pots on the wheel. So here I am making a wee pot. Um, yeah, and I made a whole heap of these and then they went through the kiln for the first time, what's called biscuit firing in the kiln. So all these pots were biscuit fired. And then I dipped them in oatmeal glaze the following week. And when they'd come out of the gas kiln, that's what they looked like. So you might recognise these. These are the pots that I used to put the blackberry jelly in. And the very small ones. And then I have these pots for all sorts of things. Um, little bits and pieces of this and that. And this is the wheel where I do my throwing. And so then I did a new experiment where I threw some more pots and instead of firing them in that biscuit fired kiln, uh, I just left them to go hard until the following week. Then I dipped, before firing at all, I dipped them in this green slip. This is different from glaze. Slip is just very, very watered down clay. Uh, that's all slip is. It's uh, coloured with pigments in, it's coloured clay. And so I mix these, uh, a green slip uh, with a bit of turquoise, although you, I don't, the turquoise never is apparent uh, in this at all. So I dip these. Uh, it, you've got to be quite careful when you're dipping things before they've been fired because they could still break uh, and they could, um, as the watery slip goes onto the dry pot, the whole thing could disintegrate. So you have to be quite careful uh, with them to get to get them to just the right stage. So I dipped these in slip quite carefully, uh, poured it out into the jug and then dipped the rim. I think there were about 20 pots like this. And then these were fired in the kiln to get them to bisque firing, to, to, uh, to the bisque hardness. They all look like this and they waited there for a week until I came back the following week when my teacher had, uh, as I say, had fired them and they looked like this after they'd been fired. Then the next thing to do was to decide how to glaze them to make them into the final pots and this is where my teacher suggested that I do some glaze experiments. So we decided we would use three different glazes fired at three different temperatures and we had 1100, 1200 and um, 1280 and that's what they looked like and I chose the middle one to glaze them all. That's the recipe for the, for the glaze if you're interested and that's me sieving the glaze uh, before I used it. We made up a batch of glaze and then I glazed all these uh, pots with the new transparent glaze. So, um, yeah, just the same as before, although they're much easier to handle now because they're hard and there's no danger of them um, breaking unless you drop them in a clumsy way, but there's no danger of them collapsing or taking on water because uh, they've been fired once and they're quite hard. So that's what I did next. This is all like one week at a time. This this little video has been weeks and weeks in the making. So I dipped all of those in transparent glaze. And then um, sometimes you can't help but get a little bit on the side like that. And so what I would do at the end with, would come with a sponge and wipe off all those little bits of glaze. It's pretty forgiving stuff. Actually, you can see there's loads of people at pottery and I really enjoy going to pottery. It's a very sociable time. Lots of really nice people uh, making all sorts of interesting things there. I'm just wiping that bit off there. And then all the glaze is uh, finished, ready to be fired now at uh, 1200. Here they all are. 
And this is what they look like today when I went to collect them. All done. I think they look fantastic. I'm really pleased with them. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. That video has been weeks in the making. <laughs> Thanks for watching.